One of you two are going to represent an open seat division for the Mr. G. Second place, your runner-up. That award is going to go to Nova. What's up guys, it is peak week. Today is Monday and I just wrapped up my last round of cardio. We go ahead and give you guys a little physique update for where we're at. Uh, but uh, we will be loading tomorrow. We didn't load Sunday like we typically do. Um, the plan for the week, there we go. The plan for the week is to load Tuesday and basically just carry that fullness throughout the rest of the week. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me through the remaining week. Not a whole lot going on today. Uh, just a little bit of a pump in the gym and getting out. Let's roll. Five more days. It's Tuesday, as you can see, I cleaned up a little bit, got the diet face in full effect. Um, yesterday was the last cardio session. So no more cardio for the week. We are loading today. I have a 12 hour load, so that's roughly five meals. As you can see, I brought my trunk of food with me. Essentially, we're just going super high carb, uh, moderate fat, moderate protein, and then we're just gonna coast into the show. So no need to try and do anything tricky. It's been a good week so far. I'm super busy at work, which is always great because it keeps my mind off of everything. I had a upper body pump workout yesterday. Today is lower body. I think Damon's gonna join us. Man, I'm excited. We're, we're four days out. Things are going well, right where we wanna be. So uh, I'm gonna get to work and I will take you guys with me through each meal and then the rest of the week leading up to the show. I have not had anything other than black coffee for the last four months. Half coffee and then just a little bit of hot chocolate, but uh, man, it hits. All right, so here is meal number one. We have two packets of oats with some protein powder and some chocolate chips, hash browns, eggs, and cheese scramble, two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits, two pancakes, and a muffin. Oh, and of course, wouldn't be a load without my naked juice. So uh, I'm gonna dig into this. Usually, the way that I do it is I try to get all my protein first, so I'll start like right here. Um, then I'll eat my hash browns. Uh, I'll eat the oatmeal, that's high in protein. And then I'll get to kind of what I call the sweets, so the pancakes, and if I'm still hungry, I'll eat the muffin or some of it. If not, then I don't, because again, it's not about stuffing ourselves. We're just trying to get high carbs in. So that is a wrap. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. So, I don't normally track uh, my load day calories, but if I had to guess, I would say that was probably somewhere around 450, 600 grams of carbs, uh, roughly 45, 50 grams of protein, and then probably 25, 30 grams of fat. I'm trying to keep the fats really low today uh, so that it doesn't slow digestion down, keeping water very high. I've already got uh, over a half gallon in and it's only 8.30 this morning. So I'll probably shoot for two and a half, three gallons. We got that Lonnie's and hey. that matcha green tea. Awesome, thank you, bro. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Yeah, come on in. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, and make sure you go follow my guy, Big Stone 98. Yes. He's getting ready to compete. He'll be mid to late uh, May. Yeah. Yeah, Cascadian. May. And this is from Lonnie's? Yeah, Lonnie's Lunch Wagon. Shout out to Lonnie's Lunch Wagon. Oh, I see Musu, Musu be in there. That is a brick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that katsu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, that food was amazing. I didn't even have a chance to get the camera out. I ate that so fast. Thank you so much. Of course, man. Appreciate it. So we're gonna go hit legs later. I gotta get back to work. He's gonna go chill, get ready, and we will see you guys in a little bit. We're at the gym. Uh, I'm probably not gonna film because I am literally going in. I'm gonna do 
three or four sets of leg curls, three or four sets of leg extensions, foam roll. It's basically just get a pump and get out. So uh, nothing really of importance or all that exciting to bring you guys along with. Tomorrow I might, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go get this workout in and then it is time to go pick the kids up and head home, grab my pre-workout meal and then the last two meals of the night. So we'll keep it moving. Picked up the munchkins. What's up guys? <laughs> and we are back at home. I'm getting ready to cook dinner, but before I do that, we have our post-workout, which is Dunkaroo cereal. We have 75 grams of that and about 40 grams of banana with a protein shake that is going to go in with it. So I'm going to get this down and then the meal after this will most likely be uh, steak nachos and then I'm going to cap it off with uh, my favorite meal, which you guys will have to stick around to see. So I'm gonna jump in. I got steak nachos. Um, probably just do this and then hold off until the last meal of the night. So meal number four, going down. It is down to the last meal and I have my two favorite things. Number one, let me grab it. Mango sorbet, one of my favorites. And then the second thing is, uh, I've been saving this um, in the fridge. It's a Keeks Treats and it's a specially made carrot in honor of my guy Neil. So I'll be eating this tonight since this will be the last time I can eat this up until the show. So Neil, this one's for you. This is a quarter pound cookies and cream cookie. And for those of you that have not had a chance to try Keek's Treats, I have a couple of videos on here that I've done before uh, with my wife and I actually doing some different testings, uh, some reviews, so make sure you go check those out. But before we get into that, code Devin10, reach out to her, save some money. Now, here's the trick. Put these bad boys in the air fryer, 385, five minutes in your set. I don't normally track these days, but I work and so I threw some things together. By meal number three, I was at about 850 grams of carbs. I had 75 with my post-workout, so that puts me a little over nine, probably about 950 prior to this last meal. And then this one is going to be about 450, 500. So uh, we're looking about 13 to 1400 grams of carbs. Protein's probably right around 230, which it typically is. Uh, and then I kept the fats pretty low today for a low day. I think they're right around 200. So usually if I'm 180 sub is, is really good for a mod to moderate to low fat day. Uh, today I was trying to keep it right around there. So this will bump it up quite a bit, but with everything else, I think I was right around 140, 150. So probably be just over 200. Um, I try to stay at that or below, but my fats throughout the week are really low. So the fats do help minutes here. Then I'm gonna dig in and get to sleep. So we have three days left when I wake up. All right, it is 6.15 Wednesday morning. I don't have cardio, so I just woke up. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the aftermath of a skip load. I took in probably 12 to 1300 grams of carbs yesterday. Definitely not spilled over, but I am certainly full. Between two, a little over two gallons of water and that many carbs, the body is full. So what's gonna happen from here is we will just let the water dissipate. I will come in tighter, sharper, and fuller. Once we pull water, if needed, at the very end, um, probably Friday, morning, midday, and not completely out, just lower the amount that I'm taking. It'll allow the rest of the water to flush and then I'll be tighter, harder, and a little bit more full than a couple of days prior to you. Here's where we're at. As you can see, there's a little bit of water hanging around, but that'll go away over the next couple of days. Let's do it. All right, so that is a wrap on the last workout before we head into the show. I had posing today with my posing coach, Kenny Walsh, and we will uh, have dinner in about two hours. So also, for those that don't know, the Oreo collection continues to grow. Just when you think he can't have any more Oreos, boom. 
So most of these aren't open. I buy doubles of a lot. So like gingerbread there and gingerbread there. So, uh, but it's just something that actually started from the first time I started competing. My mom got me like two crazy flavors. I think one was like caramel apple and then the other one was something else. Um, and she was like, oh, here, you can, you know, try these. I know you love Oreos. I'm like, mom, I can't eat these until after my show. And so she was like, okay, we'll just hang on to them. So I had like two packs. Two of my best friends, uh, I think at the time, s'mores and then like pumpkin spice came out. And they were like, D, we know you're a s'mores fan. We got you these s'mores Oreos. And we know that you're white girl basic in the fall. So we got you these pumpkin spice ones. So now I have four packs of Oreos. That's how it started. Um, then from there, I just started collecting. I became known as uh, the Oreo collector, AKA the cookie monster. I'm gonna dig into my post-workout meal. Uh, Jacqueline and the boys will be home soon, so I'm gonna start dinner for them. Uh, we're gonna rest up. Tomorrow, I have a massage, which is pretty much the only thing on the agenda for that day. And then Friday, I'm going to get tanned from my really good friend, Becca. She's been doing my tanning since I started competing. And we are off to Vancouver, so. Countdown is here. Three days. It is Thursday. We are two days out from the show. Um, I woke up this morning. I was 2.01. So still hanging on to some water from the load on Tuesday. But not a problem since uh, we're going to be not cutting, but just dropping the amount of water that I'll be intaking. I've been drinking about two and a half gallons upwards of almost three a day. So we'll probably pull that down to about a gallon and just let my body kind of flush through everything. Other than that, I'm feeling good. Uh, instructions for today, we are cutting out all sorts of flavoring. So like cr crystal light, uh, no energy drinks, which I stopped both of those like at the beginning of the week. I've just been drinking um, like this bubbly water far as energy drinks in place of that, I actually have been drinking uh, this cold brew uh, coffee from Costco. Um, there's literally cold brew coffee, water coffee extract is what's in it. So no sugars, no additives, but, but it's got about 250 milligrams of caffeine. So uh, coach wanted to keep the caffeine in just because it has kind of a diuretic effect. So we didn't want to pull that out and then stop with the flushing of the water because of the uh, mild diuretic that it has. Just got to work. I'm going to get busy. When I get off, I have a massage today. So just going to rest up, get my massage. And then tonight we are doing the body prep work. So shaving, um, just cleaning everything up, making sure that I look good, ready to go on stage. And then tomorrow morning, I am meeting up with Becca so I can get tanned because I know, although I am a nice caramel complexion, we gotta get dark, dark to get on stage because those lights will wash you out. Whew, just left work. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling it today. Um, low carb day and my body is just ripping through the food. I am tired, I'm hungry. Um, what I am ready for is to go get this massage right now. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, and we're at the final countdown. I'm gonna get my massage, pick the boys up. I think the wife's taking Grayson to karate tonight, and then I will prep my food and get everything ready for tomorrow. I'm, I'm feeling it. So I'm glad I took tomorrow off. I'm just going to rest, sleep in, uh, go get my tan, uh, just kind of chill and lay low for the night. So massage time, let's roll. Whew. Wow, that felt amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I need to be able to break the fascia up around my shoulder blades and my lats so that when I hit certain poses, I can, I can really expand the muscle. And when the fibers are tight and you have broken up fascia in there, it doesn't allow you to fully stretch. A ton of people said you gotta go to Amy's Chinese Massage. So shout out to them. This lady had an elbow that would have made the rock jealous. Her mission was to get every knot out of my shoulder blade and my lat was on the table. She, I mean, it, <laughs> it was crazy. Who would have thought she was LeBron James going into the fourth quarter down by 10. She, she had to take a minute. She was breathing so hard. Shout out to Amy's massage. I feel so great. That's exactly what I need. I was there to get the shit broken up out of my back and she did that. So enough of that. Uh, we're gonna go pick the boys up and then I'm gonna head home and eat and that's probably gonna be it for the night So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. We are two days out tomorrow's one day out and it's gonna be a fun ride 
So I was telling my wife this morning, this is the first time in probably all my shows that I felt really confident going into it. Um, other than my very first show. I remember how confident I was going into that. We hit the, the nail on the head for this one. We're right where we want to be, coasting in. Everything's going well. Um, I was telling her, it's, it reminds me of when I was playing baseball in high school or college and just that feeling you get before you go into the batter's box where it's, you know, no matter what this pitcher is getting ready to throw, I'm hitting the ball. And that's exactly where I feel today. You know, there's a little bit of nerve. I'm excited and I'm, I'm ready to get on. And I can honestly say without a shadow of a doubt that the package we're bringing is the absolute best package. Um, so we'll leave it up to the judges, but the goal is to bring something undeniable and uh, we'll see if that's the case. So we are headed to go see Becca. We're almost there. Um, I've known Becca for ooh, a little over 10 years now, um, since college. A cool down to earth friend. Um, she started kind of her own little tanning business and from the very first show until now, she has done every single one of my tans. Um, I trust her, she always gets the best product. So that's where we're headed. Um, and then we will go from Salted caramel to uh, dark chocolate. With Becca, who has done my tanning since show number one back in like 2014 or 15, I think. Yes. And so she's gonna take care of me today. Say hi to everybody, mom. What? Hi! <laughs> all right. All right. Long day of traveling. I am we're just kind of up and moving, so in my room. And I'm about to just kick back, get down on my Nintendo, probably take a nap, and then head to check-in. So let's go get a quick physique update. just woke up it is 6 45 6 50 I haven't looked in a mirror yet but I've been peeing all night so I feel like I'm pretty dry it's show day um, okay down let's go take a look and see what we're looking up made breakfast um, we get six ounces if you can see it on there but we get six ounces of water I'm gonna sip that and then it was 50 grams of carbs 50 grams of protein so uh, we have a bagel sandwich it's uh, six ounces of egg whites uh, two pieces of uh, deli turkey and then an everything bagel so I'm gonna eat this go pose um, and then head to the show Switch. 
turn, face front, so excuse me, face the rear. Stop with my face. Oh, 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 oh